Because Scotland's first minister, Hamza Youssef, has called claims that police are in partnership with the Scottish National Party over the timing of Peter Murrell's arrest a conspiracy theory. Now, look, yesterday we brought you news that Peter Murrell, Nicola Sturgeon's husband, was arrested at home amid a probe into SNP finances, OK? Now, this then prompted questions after the dust settled. He's been released without charge pending investigation. But when the dust settled, people started asking the question, hang on a minute... Did the police time this in conjunction with the SNP so that it was after the leadership election where Hamza Youssef was anointed as the new First Minister of Scotland? It comes as Nicola Sturgeon's husband was, as I said, arrested yesterday in relation into that investigation into their finances, the SNP's finances. Mr Morell has since been released from custody, but detectives remain at their Glasgow home. Tents erected outside reports yesterday of shovels digging up the garden, which sounded a bit ominous, didn't it? And uh, even searching a barbecue, etc. outside. So joining me now is data journalist at The Spectator, Michael Simmons. Michael, thank you very much. I tell you what, this is how you move a story on, isn't it? Oh, is there any credibility to the idea that the police were somehow in conjunction with the SNP about the timing of this arrest? Well, to not give a straight answer, we're not we're not very sure. On the specific day itself, um, initially they'd said that Nicola Sturgeon had been seen by neighbours leaving the scene before the police arrived, but we now know that wasn't the case. And actually, plain closed police in unmarked vehicles had arrived when she was still there. So that suggests that they didn't know about the timing of the arrest. Because of the rules around what can be said about investigations, they're not being clear um, about if there's any likelihood of prior knowledge about the investigation in general. So we're not going to find out about that for um, time to come. But certainly there's people within the party suggesting that maybe Nicola Sturgeon, if she didn't know about the arrest, she, she knew what way the investigation was going. So that may have been a factor in her resignation, but we just what, can't Ma really speculate. Michael, why are some people saying that Kate Forbes, who ran against Humza Yusuf, would currently be First Minister of Scotland if this arrest had come earlier on. Why are people saying that this may have benefited Humza Yusuf? Well, I think because Humza was seen and presented himself, really, even if he didn't use the words, as the continuity um, candidate, I think he'd said something about how um, Peter Murrell was a proven election winner uh, and he could stay on as chief executive if he wanted to back at the time before he had resigned. So I think that Kate was seen as much more of a change candidate who wanted to reform the government and the party. So if this news had come out during the election, then that would have helped Kate. Although you can see it from both ways that if this had happened during the election, people would have said, oh, well, the police have interfered in the election contest and against Hamza. So it's, it's a difficult position. It is a difficult position. Uh, do you think this is why Sturgeon stepped down? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, I have to say, I honestly don't know, and I probably wouldn't want to speculate. It maybe yeah. has influenced the timing of when she specifically left office, but whether it's why she resigned, I, I, I couldn't say. No, absolutely fair enough. Look, Michael, thank you. And I'll be talking to you, I imagine, rather a lot about this in the coming weeks. And I look forward to that. Michael Simmons there, who is data journalist at The Spectator. Yet again, important to say that Peter Murrell, who is Nicola Sturgeon's husband, has been released without charge pending investigation. Want to make that crystal clear.